Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to cover texture in Kakashi. Let's go. We're going to start by making some materials. Google up any picture of Kakashi from the anime, shift A to add an image reference, and use that to sample colors from. Select the headband. In the material tab, click new to make a new material. Click the base color and use the sampler to sample the blue color from your reference. Change the material's name here. In material view, you can see the headband is now the correct color. Select the pants, click this little drop down menu, and choose the Kakashi blue color. Do the same for the sandals, kunai sheath pouch thing, gloves, and arms, anything that's primarily blue. For his head, add a new material, or select the default one from the drop down list, and then add another material slot with the plus sign over here. With this secondary slot selected, select the Kakashi blue color. That's a a mouthful of that one. Open up the face object and select all the faces that should be blue. Click on the Kakashi blue material in the list and hit assign. Just move through coloring in his neck. We'll come back to the head soon. Do the same for his sleeves as the head. Add two materials, the white one first and then the blue one. Assign the blue to his sleeves. Add a new material slot. Click new material. Sample the green color from the reference. Tab back into edit mode and invert selection with Control i assign the green color to the rest of the faces. Assign green to the pockets and shoulders. Choose a nice tan color for the back pouch. Assign the blue to this leg strap. Select the legs and in edit mode select the loop of faces surrounding the strap and assign the white material to them. Give his socks a white material. Make a material for his skin color. Deselect all, select all faces with the blue color and invert selection. Assign the skin color. Assign this skin color to the ear. Disable the visibility of his shoulder pads and make sure the entirety of the back of his head is blue. Also color the headband tie blue. Make a metallic material for his headband plate. Color it slightly gray. Set the metallic slider to one and adjust the roughness. Assign the metal color to the hand plates too. Assign the skin tone to his arms and his fingers. Create a new color for his hair. Sample it from your reference. Assign this color to his sideburns and the hair on the back of his head. Since we don't want to have to assign this color to every strand of hair, in object mode, in the outliner, control select all of the hair curves and then select the hair at the back of his head last so that it's highlighted in orange with all of the curves highlighted in red. Hit Ctrl L and select materials. This will make all of the curves inherit the materials from the final hair object we selected. Select the entire mask area of Kakashi's face and assign blue. Select the toes and make them skin color. I changed all of my clothes materials roughness to something like 0.9. Now it's time to unwrap. If you're new to unwrapping, we're going to cut up our objects into pieces that will more easily lay flat for texturing. Kind of like stitch lines on clothing. Select the edge down the center of the pants, hit Ctrl E, and choose Mark Seam. These edges will become red. You can choose to cut your mesh however you want. I chose to cut down the side of the pants, the circle separating his arms from his body, the edge down the center of his arm and body, the corners and back of the chest pockets. I didn't end up texturing his knife thing, so it doesn't matter. The back and sides of the butt pouch. And this edge loop on the flap. The bottom edge of the arm. This loop I selected ended up unwrapping the fingers in a strange way. It still works, but maybe select and unwrap one edge loop further on the fingers. And then this entire edge to separate the top and bottom of his hands. Separate the thumb. The seam on the corner of his jaw and under his eyes. And then just the entire middle line of his face, which isn't needed, but I did it for good measure. Now, if you're happy with the shoulder objects, apply all the modifiers except for the subdivision in order from top to bottom. You can always duplicate these objects and add them to an archive collection. I'm going to delete half of this object and reapply the mirror modifier. Same with this shoulder object. Then we only have to unwrap and texture one side. 
go through all the objects and apply the scales on anything that doesn't say 111 under the scale over here, with the exception of the hair curves. Select this edge loop, mark as seam. Same with this one. Also select the inner edges and mark as seams. Might help to go into wireframe mode or disable the visibility of anything obstructing your view entirely. Select all and hit U to unwrap to see a preview. Make sure you're using the UV editor in the lower panel. I feel like I said UV where I was like, UV. <laughs> Make sure you're using the UV editor in the lower panel. Under the view tab, in overlays, check stretching. You want everything to be mostly blue and probably not shaped like a stingray. So find and mark the problematic edges. Select all and re-unwrap with U. Select all of your body objects in object mode. Tab into edit mode, select all and hit U. Choose unwrap. This is a preview of the stretching. We're gonna organize this all differently in a little bit. It looks pretty good. Now we're gonna bake some textures. In object mode, select all of the lower body objects. Tab into edit mode, hit A to select all. Hit U and select unwrap. You can change the margin to whatever you want. I use 0.1 to space all of the islands out a ton, since I'm not worried about the size of my texture files. I also selected use subsurface modifier, but it probably didn't need to be selected. Move and rescale anything you want changed. Hit new texture, create a texture whatever size you want. I used 2048 by 2048 and labeled my texture Kakashi Legs. Hit OK. Now go through every object in the lower body and add an image node with this Kakashi Leg texture to every material. Make sure you're actively selected on this image node in every material. Once you're certain that you have it on every material, click the Render Properties tab, scroll down and expand the Bake menu. Under Bake Type, choose Diffuse, and under Influence, only select Color. Open up the UV Editor and reselect all the lower body objects. Check Clear Image, then hit Bake, and wait a while as Blender bakes your textures. In Object Mode, you can watch as the colors get painted onto your texture. Don't forget to save this image. Go back into the shader editor once the baking is finished. You can now remove all materials from the lower body objects. Create a new material called something like Kakashi Legs. Add an image texture to this material. Use the Kakashi Legs texture as the base color. And adjust the shader roughness to however you like it. For the pack, I'm going to still use my metallic materials for the button, so I added it back. Add the Kakashi leg material to every object in the lower body. Now we do it again for the chest. Select all the upper body objects besides his neck and up. Create a new texture called Kakashi chest or something. Unwrap with the same settings as before. Go into every object and add the Kakashi chest image to every material. Once you've gotten them all, go into UV editor, change the image to the chest image and hit bake again. Watch in awe as the texture fills in. Once it's done, strip all the materials from the upper body and create a new material called Kakashi chest or whatever. Add the corresponding image to the material. Apply it to all these objects. I forgot to unwrap, I said objects weird. <laughs> I forgot to unwrap several objects on his head. The only one I ended up texturing is this headband plate. Select his head objects and unwrap them. Don't worry about the hair. You can texture that if you want to, but I didn't. Create a third texture. Do the texture thing on all the materials, select all the objects, and bake. Remember to always save all of your textures. Strip the materials off the head objects except for the headband plate, then make the new Kakashi head material and use the texture. Apply it to all the head objects. If you care, you can switch to the blend file in the outliner and delete any materials you no longer want. Be careful not to delete anything you want though. Now we're ready to paint. Since my head object has a ton of holes in it, Blender doesn't know which side I want outside. And because I've tried this before recording, I know I need to recalculate the normals inside. Switch to texture paint and pull up a reference over here to use as a palette. Change the bottom tab to the image editor and switch to paint mode. Select the tool tab and sample the blue and skin color from the image texture. 
Now start painting in a new mask line on his face using your reference. This is when you'll know if you need to hit Ctrl N and recalculate your normals inside or outside. If the paint isn't showing up on your texture, try flipping your normals. I sample colors straight off the reference. Don't sample off the objects in solid view because there's shading from the default lighting. Remember to save your textures frequently as you're adding detail. Always save! Add the Kakashi face texture to the headband metal material. Color the headband islands a light gray, maybe blue gray. Use the reference to get the rough positioning of stuff and then manually adjust anything you want. This whole process is really up to you, however you want to do it. It takes a while, and don't forget to save frequently. Make a new material for the metal plates on the hand and use the body texture. Feel free to rescale the UV islands if you want more texture resolution. Depending on what you want to use your model for, you might decide to increase the texture resolution entirely. Remember, if an object won't let you paint on it, you usually need to flip your normals. I unwrap these fingers pretty poorly, but it still works. For the lines on the shoulder pads, it helped me to follow the edge loop lines on my UV overlays. If you want to make straight lines while texturing, change your stroke method from space to line. Sometimes it's easier to paint directly on the model, sometimes on the texture. Just stay flexible on which one you use. I want my model to resemble a hand-drawn character, so I border a lot of things with black. I added some clothing folds with darker green from my reference. Use the smudge and blur tool when necessary. You can explore these options under the tool tab and do all sorts of crazy things, but I usually just use the default tools. For the leg wraps, I used the line tool and then kind of blended them together. I added some seams to the tip of the toes and re-unwrapped those faces so that I could paint in the toes. And then I thought it was probably silly that his toenails are higher resolution than his fingernails, so I re-unwrapped those as well. Found an empty spot for them in the texture, and repainted them. Once that's done, I started painting some detail onto the arm. After painting these emblems on the arms, I decided that they should be bigger. So I opened up my texture in Photoshop and resized them a bit. I started creating the emblem on the back, but it's not going to work with how the back is currently unwrapped. Before we apply this mirror modifier, we need to add elbow joints. I added this elbow later right before rigging and it was a bit more difficult. Put in three edge loops about where his elbow should be. Then select the front four edges on the middle loop. Hit X and choose dissolve edge loops. Change in the Modifier tab, apply the Mirror Modifier to the body object. Go into Edit Mode and select these four faces, hit U to unwrap again. In the UV Editor, make sure Sync Selection is on, scale the UV islands down, and place them in an open spot. Sample the green color off the texture, and paint it in. Now you'll be able to make a non-mirrored design. I decided to add a circle object to my scene so that I could use it as a guide. These aren't the easiest shapes to make, so don't be afraid to make a mess. Just keep going back over it until it looks alright. If you're going for the hand-drawn look, it definitely doesn't have to be perfect, but mine is. 
add some stitching to the pack. I decided to resize its UV islands because it has you never gonna see it. I want it to be perfect. Once that's done, make his arms skin colored. Then add some shading to make his shirt look wrinkled. I blurred these a bit with the blur tool. So that's all the texturing done. Join us next time when we wrap up this 47 part tutorial with rigging Kakashi. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe, or maybe even share the video. Thanks again. Stay safe. I love you all. Goodbye.